Hello and welcome to Georgie Carr's car show. That's my last name by the way, Carr, for those of you that don't know. I'm a learner driver and I'm going to be doing a video with mum. I'm yep. driving up to Mablethorpe to see my boyfriend Jamie and we are a little bit stressed. We've been rushing. We have. Georgie's been ready for about 45 minutes. I've been ready for an eternity. I've been ready since yesterday. And she's been That's not a lie. That is a long story though, isn't it? Yeah, but we, we could probably we'll, touch on that we'll, while we're we'll, driving. We'll tell you all about that later on. I might be able to add in some of the footage. Huh? Is the wheel on lock? You have to waggle the thing and the key at the same time. There you go. It's easy when you... Whoa. What? You got it in gear. Hang on. I don't have it in gear. Dad's left it in gear. Dad, you tend to leave Dad. it in gear when parked. See, that's not my fault. Don't blame me. Shall I turn the radio off? Yeah. Yeah. Well, obviously. Yeah. Always check your gear now okay. before doing that. So. Right. Good stuff. Clear the traffic. Okay. Georgie's on the way. There's actually nothing coming right now. Yeah, I know. Well, actually, yeah. there's something on that side and I don't want to... Oh, no, wanna... you've got loads of room. Yeah, I know. I'm just... Yeah, but there's suddenly lorries. the lights will change and then we won't have a window. A window. You know, now to, the lights have changed okay. and we've got loads of traffic We need coming. to go and get petrol, so we we're going to do that. Um, the trip is from Lincoln to Mablethorpe. It's an hour. Yeah. We've managed to balance you quite well. Hopefully you don't fall. Uh, you <laughs> That's going to be quite expensive. Yeah, you haven't experienced Georgie's excessive braking yet. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, obviously I'm just learning, aren't I? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, like background information, I am a learner, but I want to pass my test before Christmas. That's my aim. I'm going to do my theory soon, so I'll do videos on that. I get hesitant because there's a damn car in front of me. I know, but you've got more than a car's width on our side of the road to get around it. There is right. room. But she's, that's what, it's good she's super cautious. I am super cautious. For now. But when she gets more confident, I don't want this to be uh, the case. Well, I am pretty confident. She's it's just, I don't know. She's off. I hope you check the mirror. Yep, obviously. Excellent. I'm not. Right, here we go. Let's see how this Off we out. go, boys. <laughs> oh, somebody's already indicating off. Isn't that lovely? That's all right. They're going down their drive. I always said I wouldn't sit in with Georgie while she's learning, but. Uh, oh. And I didn't in the early stages. No. Her dad did it, which is brilliant. But now window wipers ah oh, help me help me it's all right i can't just see leave it. it'll, it'll disperse. It disperse it's fine it's just smudging it around the i window. don't actually think we've got any oh it's clearing a bit more which way am i going straight on straight on the usual thing yeah i'm doing 30 miles per hour in a 30 I mile think per hour zone you can take your wipers off now <laughs> Uh, I'm not actually sure there's any water in, in the uh, bottle, to be honest. Yeah, there isn't. Yeah. See, you never remember to fill these things up when you're not actually in the car. Oh, oh right, okay. I need to concentrate because I haven't been in the car in a few days. Yeah, that was Phil. Was it? Yeah. Where? That was Phil. That was his white car. Then. Oh, Phil. I thought yeah. you meant Phil as in Steph's mum. Oh, not in Steph's mum, no. Oh, Steph's mum, if you're watching, Phil. I'll come around and see you soon. <laughs> it's been ages. <laughs> if you watch. <laughs> it's been absolutely ages. I swear to God, it's been more than six months. Yeah, George is having to experience a bit more traffic because it's Monday morning. It's late morning. It's 10 to, two, uh, 10 to 12, so. But she's getting better with other road users. That used to be her big thing. Really nervous of the other road users and would panic if somebody was behind her yeah. to the point where she'd want to actually pull over and let them pass. But I say, yeah. screw them. And uh, they're not indicating. Look, none of them are indicating. That's so bad. That's really annoying. That annoys me whether I've got a learner driver in with me or not. People should, look, none of them. So you don't know when to go, anyway. See, he, he didn't know where he's going, to be honest, so. We'll get talking more when we get going. Yeah, yeah, we're just focusing on the fact that uh, we're there's a petrol station at Greetwell coming I'll, up I'll and just, we're going to be pulling yeah. in and I think that probably makes Georgie nervous because she's not gone in there before no. so, but it's actually easier to get in there than it is a Tesco one yeah it's kind of on route we haven't got a lot of time I'll With just Georgie we haven't got a lot of time so. I'll just turn this off and so it gives us stories for later hi we're back we're in the petrol station got moaned at for leaving the car running well, I didn't get moaned out. Just oh, I didn't even turn to. the car on. I didn't even happen. notice the car was running. I couldn't hear it. I'm used to driving a diesel, which is really noisy. Yeah. But uh, why is it young? Oh my god, I know him. He's handsome. Uh, I don't know who he is. Oh, he works at the post. Just why is my window wipers doing it? Because don't worry about it. I don't know if I just turned them off or not. 
Is he waiting to go? Or no, he's getting out. Look, you want to get in the queue? I am getting in the queue. Get in the queue. Is the car on? It is on, isn't it? It is on. Yeah, it is. It's super quiet compared to my diesel, which broke down yesterday. Oh, well, I'm get behind that white. He's going to be a while because he's struggling to get across two lanes of very busy traffic, which is really. Am annoying. I in the way of anyone? No, no, you're not in the way. He's in the way. But God, I'm starving. I'm really hungry. Yeah, that's Henderson. He works at the poachers. He. Oh. Um, hi, Henderson. If you're watching, <laughs> um, is he likely to be? Does he follow you on tube? I doubt it, but <laughs> he's got me on Snapchat, so okay. I'll just have to let him know. Fair do. Um, yeah, he's in the petrol. Oh my oh, god! Oh, it's going. No, he went to my school, Mum. You won't be indicating because uh, you're going left out of Yara. I don't remember who. What? Will Far? Yeah. Oh, go, go! You can't. Oh, oh I can't. Mum, I can't. If oh I, no. I need to look myself. I, I can't. Know. Otherwise, I would have stalled and probably I know. crashed. I always have to look myself. You can't go by what the passenger says. I yeah, I couldn't agree more. Oh. But do keep your eye on the ball because this is a very Yeah, but I'm only going left, I'm not crossing. Okay. Look, see, I've got loads of time. You have, she has. By the way, in my driving experience so far, I've got a lot more confident recently, hence why I thought it was safe to do a drive with me because obviously you might think it's not safe. But obviously I'm looking on the road, I'm just chatting away like usual. So, you know, we don't need to look at the camera too often. Um, I actually jo enjoy our... Um, we have quite a bit of banter while we're driving. Yeah. We have a bit of a good laugh, really. So we could make this into a series, couldn't we, Mum? <laughs> yeah. Drive with me, yeah. hashtag one. I'm starting to relax now because George is really getting on to me half an hour ago, so hurry up. Well, no, it was not you, it was Dad. Yeah. One near, but yeah, I felt under pressure. But anyway, I do actually enjoy driving with Georgie now. Never thought I would, but yeah. yeah. Well, I feel very safe when I'm driving. I wouldn't say I'm 100% relaxed with it yet. Oh, no, but you can't be, can you? But, um, no, uh, incompetence is just improving massively. My issue is that I accidentally drive too fast. She does. Sometimes. She does. Which I think that shows that I'm confident, but it also shows that I need to slow down. Yes. Um, because I feel, I'm going to 40 now in a 40 and I feel really, really slow. Obviously when I do pass my test, I won't be speeding, you don't have to worry. Just um, where you go, you know. Right, we're actually, this is I'm, a 50, isn't is it? Is it? This is a 50 zone. Oh, Christ. So you can get No wonder 50. I felt like I was going slow. Yeah, this is a... To be honest, oh, it might be a 60, but no, you're, 50, going, you're entering a 50 a, zone in a minute for sure. A, oh, no, yeah, this might be 60. Yeah, oh, it's because that lorry was going so slow behind me. It's not a problem. I don't have to do the actual limit. No, it's just how I feel comfortable. Oh yeah, well, a couple of times ago when I went to Mablethorpe I accidentally hit a bird. It was driving straight towards me and then suddenly it just bashed into the window screen. And it died, I'm pretty, pretty sure, didn't it, Mum? Well, there was blood everywhere. Absolutely unavoidable, the poor thing. What's that yeah. car doing? No, no, it's just moving over because there's a, there's a big farm machinery, but we've got loads of room. So yeah, oh great, there's a slow thing in front of us. It's fine. And I also ran over a bird, but it was a small bird. Yes. It um, and it didn't go under the wheel, it went under the car, so it, it did live. Mm. I think it was a baby, not long out the nest, but yeah, it just sat there, it's like, it's not moving. But yeah, we couldn't swim around because something come towards us. But yeah. yeah, that one that hit our windscreen, we just came out of bed and then wallop, and just, I saw something always splash on the screen, but it was raining at the time, so yeah. the wipers just took it away immediately. Poor thing. I hate that when it happens. I hate hitting anything. I don't even like killing spiders for God's sake. I hate no. spiders. I only do if I feel threatened. Yeah, sometimes who with them up. Those really lanky ones. Move my seat back a tad. I'm not kidding you, I'm starving. And we're heading to Mablethorpe and there's chippies everywhere. And I've had a bit of a calorific weekend. Pizzas and not McDonald's last night in a bird. Oh yeah, we'll tell you packing. about that in a minute. Yeah. But uh, yeah. The thought of curry and chips right now is hugely appealing. I've got to resist because, you know, yeah, it goes straight here and there and there and there. So, in your butthole. It just goes everywhere. So, got it. Yeah, basically, okay. what happened yesterday is well, we went down to my, um, my uncle and aunties um, to visit them and like, my cousins and stuff. And Basically, on the way back, that was in Epsom, yeah, it? in near London. Um, and we set off at three because I wanted to get back to drive to Mablethorpe last night, yeah, to see Jamie, yeah. Hi, Jamie, about to go over a crossing, it's gonna wobble, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you survived. No, you did. So, if you survive that, you're gonna be fine for the rest okay. of the day. Okay, so, yeah. 
okay, what are you doing? What are you doing? Down. Don't down worry, the road, I'm, I'm not. The road. Yeah, it's just that flat. Can you see that? Um, yeah, and then we decided to drive back at three. We broke down about an hour into the journey, so that was obviously nice. You've moved it up. Right, okay, we'll just leave it and I'll see. It's fine. Um, yeah, we broke down about an hour into the journey. Um, just on the top, like... What actually happened? Well, we was in the outside lane doing, I think, just about 70. Well, I think we've been going a little bit faster than that, to be fair, but we've eased off a bit. Um, but yeah, the car just, it's an automatic, but it just suddenly missed a beat. And then it missed another one. So... And then we could smell burning. Yeah, me. so I wasn't driving, it was Jordy's dad. Yeah, dad and was driving. We pulled into the middle of the lane, missed another beat. He was like, What the hell's going on? I best pull over, that's not right. So we pulled into the hard shoulder. Pulled onto the hard shoulder, which was really just past a slip road. It was on the chevrons, it was just past a slip road. It was yeah. on the chevrons. But what can you do? And yeah, the car just cut out and it never did start again. So no. it's something to do. Oh, God. Something about the belt, isn't it? Uh, something to do with some sort of. Brackets come loose or something oh, okay. that's securing Something the camera. Anyway. I don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to what's yeah. on the bonnet. But we broke but, down. Yeah, basically it's put the end the timing of the engine all to cock. So I don't I think when your cam belt goes, that's a, a new engine. Or you, a new car. Yeah. But that hasn't happened. It's just thrown the timing out. So hopefully this thing we can't do it, it has to go to a garage because Georgie's dad's really hands-on with the car very competent, very capable, can fix most things, but well, this is something he can't, we're going to have to get it towed to the garage, so we don't think it's totally nazzed, I love the word nazz, and uh, but yeah, but that was screwed up our day for the rest of the day, if you told me at that point, because I was pretty chilled at that point, yeah. these things happen, we've not broken down for ages, I, I actually thought, let the engine, we didn't know what had happened, let the engine cool down because it got really hot. And uh, and then it will strike up and off we go because yeah. things like that have happened before. No, if somebody told me then that I was going to be sat on the hard shoulder of the M25 near the A1 turn off uh, for the next three and a half hours, yeah. I would have been well annoyed. I'd be like, no. Yeah, basically we were sat there. We were sat there for about an hour. We called the RAC and they actually got here very quickly, didn't they, Mum? Yeah, they sent a van out. But there was not much that they could do. He died. Uh, he couldn't do much. He, he just said what was wrong with it. Um, and then they called a truck for us, which we waited nearly two hours, two, yeah. hour, two um, hours and a bit for. The first guy said, oh yeah, the, tr the tow truck's due in 30 minutes. We thought, well, that's all that's right. That's a lie. He lied. You he lied. I bet, I bet he says that to all the customers. But yeah, so yeah, that was about two and a half hours later, the tow truck turned up at about eight o'clock. And we'd experienced sunshine, showers, rainbows, wind. We did. I, I remained traffic. on the side of the bank because when you break down, you're supposed to get out of the car. Oh God, for sure. Yeah. Um, so when it was raining, them lot got back in the car, and I was like, yeah, "Well, I'm, I'm not going to kill that. myself. I'm no, just going to wait." I was the in the car road. for like two minutes, and then it rained again later, and I couldn't get out. I, I was not going to go back. So in at the end the of the day, it's rain, like you know. Yeah, it's not going to kill you. Getting wiped by a really great lorry will. So. Exactly. Yeah, we were sat on a great big lump of concrete. It was underneath one of those big matrix signs on yeah. me. So it wasn't the comfiest, but it wasn't a wet bank either. So it's what it is. Thing is, when we sat there, we got so many pips. Yeah, from cars. From motorists. Beeping. We had people waving. Shouting. We had, go I'm sure somebody shouted, and you'll probably bleep this, fuck you. <laughs> out the window <laughs> and we've had the middle finger up yeah it's like what the hell's that going just, on that just shows you what, what england is just like doesn't yeah. it yeah but of course they're all going so fast you can't retaliate no so believe me i would have done it's just entertainment <laughs> for us really isn't it yeah it's quite funny really um yeah and anyway so eventually the truck arrived i will insert my snapchat story by the way because i do keep a running um, update on my snapchat so i'll insert that story in this video after we've explained but basically um the truck arrived he got us on the car on the back of his truck mm -hmm. and then we went to we got in and there wasn't that much space but he was so actually was really no nice space. wasn't he Mum? he was a right cockney geezer yeah from yeah. Like a london kind of yeah person. he was really down to work and very friendly and he says are you guys all hungry i thought he's gonna treat us you know yeah and uh, but he said no i need to get some fuel i've only got a quarter of a tank and where well, i'm pulling in it's got mcdonald's so yeah. i can 
can drop you off at McDonald's. So I'll go yeah. get fuel and I'll come and pick you up. It's like, oh, Brillo pads, yeah. So, so, we, so Brillo pads. Brillo pads. So we went to get McDonald's. Yeah. Um, we got a McDonald's. We made, we all got a Big Mac. All five of us. Yeah. Got a mate. That's all right. Yeah, yeah I know. You up. Well, no, I'm just That's saying. Fine. I'm just saying. I'm just yeah. saying. It just helps me concentrate. Um. Yeah, we all got Big Macs and stuff. I tried the new cheese bites. They give you loads of cheese bites, in my opinion. I think they give you loads, unless it was just that particular one. If I had known they once. were mozzarella, I would have been begging one. I thought they were Red Leicester. No. These um, were the new ones. The Red Leicester ones are gone now. Yeah, mozzarella is the one. My mouth's watering. So yeah, we was in that truck for like an hour and a half or so, weren't we, Mum? Quite oh, a while. Know, it, yeah. It, and he was chatting and chatting and chatting. Yeah, he thought he was going to have to take us all the way to Lincoln. Yeah. It was like, I hope not. And he was, he was banging on about his tacho tacho graph. Yeah, so whatever that is. His, his tacho but yeah, he can know what it is. But anyway, he, he, it would have made him illegal if he went yeah. outside of a certain So we got picked area. up by a second truck. And that guy was really nice. We were gutted. We thought, no, we mate, I don't care whether it's illegal for you to take us to Lincoln or not. We just want you to take us to Lincoln. Yeah. We just want to get home at this point. But uh, no, he says no, we're, we're doing a relay system, I'm dropping you at the yeah. services. But the second guy didn't take long at all, did he? Well, he told weird. us that he was at home and he got the call out for us, so oh. he had to tra drive from his house to us. He said I was just getting into bed. Oh. oh. Yeah, but that's his job, he gets paid to do I it. No, so. but I still felt bad, he must have been so annoyed. Yeah, but I suppose he's used to Sorry, it. Dude. But yeah, the weird thing is, when I was waiting, it probably ended this out because we're really waffling on now. But two tow trucks turned up but once from the same company at the services you can go down the gears it will help you brake the better yeah it's because i know we're going to be doing it's quite stop. a lot of traffic actually but people it's still holiday period people are going to the coast well that's exactly what we're doing <laughs> yeah but for different reasons, for different reasons yeah because i'm going to get there and come back to immediately hopefully without getting chips yeah we're going into rugby now but yeah so he managed to get us back we got back to Lincoln at five to one in the morning yeah. after setting off from Epsom at just after three. And it's normally a three slash three and a half hour journey. Yeah. I, I've got to flipping Rome quicker than that. <laughs> but it is what it is, isn't it? But we've got Dylan with us, so that was nice. Not for him. Yeah, our cousin, but my cousin Dylan. Yeah, it's bad luck because he broke down coming up to us. Yeah, it's, it's basically last summer, last August. Fault. Yeah, so it's a bit of a bad look. Mascot, isn't he? Yeah, so it's, it's such a thing. So I'm going very slowly because like, oh, I mean, like lights. two miles per hour, sort of slow. Lights, yeah, because there's a lot of traffic lot this of morning. Because I don't usually oh. drive in the morning, do I? I'm on, oh. I'm on the way to Maplethorpe. No. no. See, this is the kind of thing that I would not have been able to deal with if I'd just done my. Oh Jesus Christ! Are you all right? Fine. It's because I don't like going this ridiculously slow. Well, you're going so slow you could stall kind of slow. I mean, you're just in first at the moment. You're not stalling first, weren't you? No. No. You'd stall in second. I just don't want to crash into the car in front of you. If you're in third, you'd stall for sure. Even if I crashed at this slow, it would be literally a, a tap. It would be a little bumpet. Yeah, I'm going to give the car in front quite a bit of space. Bumpage. So yeah, they managed to get us home at about one o'clock, wasn't it mum? Oh yeah, got a five and a half hour sleep, the alarm went off, had me breakfast and I've been cleaning at um, some flats for two yeah. hours. This morning, oh. This morning, so I've had my hand down several toilets, cleaning up on people's pubic hair. Uh. I know, well that's genuinely it. So, and then, Georgia was getting on to me to hurry up, but yeah. Yeah, it wasn't me because Georgie's dad was with me. He was um, fixing something up in the yard there as well, and uh, it was taking longer than anticipated. So, but of course, the world does revolve around Georgie, so we had to get a move on. Well, no, it's just because I wanted to go somewhere. You'll cut that bit out of there. <laughs> no. The world does revolve around me. What are you on about? Well, that's what it feels like. Sorry if it's a bit dark, by the way. Not always, though, is it? I don't know. Do it's you because the that? camera's quite far back. Oh, it's just turning off. Why is it? So I'm going 
and left on accident off the sat nav on today. Usually I have a oh, sat nav. Yes, that's true. Yeah, normally you get excited about that, don't you? And yeah, I do would rather it. have the sat nav because I feel like I can see how tight the bends are and I can see the corners. Do I need to indicate left or is it straight on? Uh, just a courtesy indication to the left oh, yeah. just to let them know. But it's not obligatory on that one, it's a bit of a weird one. Courtesy indicated and yeah. away we go. Maybe it's not such a long way when you haven't really got time for it and then you get there and you can be straight back. It's, yeah. It is a bit of a nuisance. Even but though for me this is driving practice. This has brought Georgie on so well. Yeah, I didn't want to pass my test until like two or three years from this point onwards. Um, I thought, oh, I'll just keep practicing a little bit. But now I've been driving, I've suddenly realised that actually I could pass my test very soon or well. in, a, in a few months. Before Christmas, I would like to do my test. I tell you what, getting the confidence thing, you want your fifth now. Getting the confidence thing sorted is, I'd say, about 80% of George's yeah. driving. Uh, but we haven't really tackled manoeuvres a great deal yet. No, but that's something that you do like in uh, bulk, do you know what I mean? Like, get your confidence up and then tackle bad habits and stuff like that. Yeah. Town work, because I need to do a lot more in town. When you learn to drive, you shouldn't have any bad habits. Like no, I mean bad habits of speeding and things uh, like that. I was going to say, don't do what Dad does as an example, because no. he's a ridiculous driver. I mean, yeah. he's a peculiar driver, really. Well, yeah, in that, it's not like he speeds or anything. It's not like bad as in against the law kind of thing. But then, at the same time, it's just like he will. He's very quick with things. Like he'll make a decision and then do it, or it? he'll not change gear around the roundabout and yeah. we're nearly sliding off. Well, he loves his cruise control and he sets it about 48 miles an hour to get maximum fuel efficiency. And that's what we're doing all the way to wherever we're going, pretty much. Not on motorways, to be fair. He does appreciate you do need to get on there. Um, but yeah, just on like what the route we're doing today, he'd yeah. set his cruise control, he's obsessive about it, about 48 mile an hour. But then we'll enter a village and he'll change it. We go no. rattling through that village at 48 miles an hour. <laughs> and it's not right. It's and it's not really illegal. Um, he bought 
bought another Volvo because we haven't got enough. And that was in Kidderminster, so that was a hell of a journey. And then, I'm sure we did something else that weekend. Do we do anything else Kidderminster weekend? I don't know what we're I'm not about. sure. I'm not sure. And, and then, of course, we was down to Epsom this weekend. But interspersed with all that in these last five weeks, we've had regular trips out to Mablethorpe. I'm literally yeah. living. In a, in a vehicle right now and I'm getting a bit bored of it. I love driving but I'm getting bored of it Yeah, now. but do you prefer, like say when I'm driving, do you prefer when I'm driving in this car and you're in the passenger seat or when you're driving and I'm in the passenger seat? I prefer to drive. Yeah. Well yeah, there's the risk of um, error. Crash. Much more error when Georgie's driving. Yeah, even though I have to do this, I have to force myself yeah. to get in the car. Now this is quite a tight bend and he's actually turning right so be prepared to come to a stop but it's not. He's turned, he's gone, that's taxi driver's gone, he overtook us. No, he gained a lot of time, didn't he? Um, yeah. 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 The one time it's like, okay, so we're going down, was we downhill? Oh, we was going uphill. Yeah. And she's, I was like, you want to get your foot down while we're going downhill to give yourself momentum to go uphill? She's like, oh, are we going uphill? <laughs> How can you not tell? <laughs> <laughs> well, it was just didn't look like that much of a hill. We're going uphill now. We are, I, I recognise yeah. that now. Yeah. Are you wanting to pull in that lay by? Yeah, when Jamie is that? Know? Oh, I hate going in this lay by. I, I don't. She's like going like a bat of hell. It's the only time where I, I put my, my foot on my uh, imaginary brake yeah. and I'm braking like hell. And there's like nothing happening because we're still flying into the opening of this down lane. Is that at the end by. up here? No, we're, we're down here, up and down again. Oh, right. No, we're probably about two miles away from that. It will probably help me to not have the sat nav because then maybe I can focus on the, on the journey a bit more rather than the sat nav. Yeah. Well, that was my thinking, but... Yeah, but I do like to have the sat now. Uh, she does. Hi, we're back. We're back. Stick to you. If the camera angle's terrible, don't worry, we'll sort it out. Yeah, we are. Pulling into said lay by in about half a mile. Yeah. Please don't go too fast. I know there's a lorry behind us, but, you know. Why would that make me go fast? Well, because you'll be panicking about holding Oh no no no! It's not that. I just end up going fast accidentally because I end up going fast. I don't even on the other it side. It doesn't of the help that this layby is halfway down a, a hill. A hill as well. But it's because I don't feel like I'm going fast because I know I'm going to stop at some point. It's like I just don't slow down in time. I just slow down at that moment in time. I just brake hard basically. It's just that there's a pull off to this layby and the curb really sticks out and it really is a very tight gap yeah. to get between it. Oh yeah. So you want to be easing off now. Because it's just, you see there's a tiny bend and it's just past that bend. You want to be indicating as well. Now? Yeah. Like the lorry's a good distance behind us, but it doesn't harm to let them know that that's what we're doing in good time. Whoa. That's the gear hook. Okay. Wobbling. See, this is when I've got my foot on the clutch the whole time. Look how narrow it is. Why have they put that curb there? Probably is to slow people down, to be fair. Right, Mum, have you oh. got your foot on your imaginary brake? Actually, I have a bit. I'm not going to lie. But, uh, yeah. Right. Pull in okay. just here. Okay. This is purely so Jordy can uh, message Jamie and to let him know I'm halfway away. We are half an hour away. Okay. <sighs> I'm so hungry. I'm hungry too. Good. I'm gonna get food when I get there. I might get something to eat in the car, but I didn't yeah. say that. What, like from the co-op or something? Watson parked, of course. What? Oh, what? Do you mean chips? Oh, don't let me get chips. No, I'm not gonna get chips. I didn't want to get anything really. Should we? God damn it! If I can't wait an hour until I get home to have, I don't know, a toasty sandwich or something might be nice. I think Jamie's in the pub. Already? Oh yeah, with his dad. Oh my days, Mine, is his day off? It's half past 12. Don't worry, I'm looking Whoa, at Whoa, mind the bush. What? Jesus <laughs> Christ. I know, you got to mind the bush because you, you know, you can force the mirror in some of the branches it might be a bit thicker. Right, I can see in my mirror. Yeah. 